Hello there, in this video I am going to have a little rant, uh, primarily a rant at myself for being stupid. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, I trust most things in life. I don't trust politicians, enough said, but I do trust technology. For me, technology tends to work. I plug something in and switch it on and it works and I turn it off and it turn it on and it, it always seems to do what it should do. The only problem really is when the technology becomes obsolete, but it still works. However, I do have problems from time to time and also don't trust these things. We can spend hundreds and thousands on gear, whether it be cameras or lenses or editing equipment or whatever. If this isn't right, it doesn't matter how much you've spent. I generally find these are great. And this is the brand that I use more often than not. In fact, this particular card it's a SanDisk Extreme Pro, and this is a 32 gig card. Um, love them generally. However, this one today, I was uh, processing an image that was on the card. I came to save it, and there was an error message that said that the card needed to be formatted. Well, the card didn't need to be formatted I'd already used it, there were images on there, and um, everything had been working fine. Unfortunately, this card was defunct, useless, gone. Yes, there are various things that I could have tried, and there are um, pieces of software out there that will allow you to recover, or at least attempt to recover, data files that are on these cards. I may have some success with that, I may try that, but really the fundamental thing is that I should, as soon as I've taken the card out of the camera, back up the content. So whether that's um, duplicate the content directly on a hard drive, portable hard drive, um, I've got one of those, there's no reason why I shouldn't have done that or back up the content on the cloud. I have an Amazon Prime account that allows me to save unlimited photographs, including raw files. There are other cloud applications. Um, Flickr, for example, Flickr account will allow you to save a thousand high res photographs for free. So there are several things that I should have done. And in fact, the photographs were taken on a Fuji X-T3 and the X-T3 has two card slots. So I could have recorded the same content, the same images and the same footage on the two cards, knowing that if one of them was corrupt, then the other one was fine. So if you are a professional or planning on becoming a professional, certainly if you record very important things like weddings, it is essential that you take care of these and also that you make duplicate copies. Best of all, if you use a camera that has two card slots, that is the, that is the ideal. Personally, I never take um, photographs at weddings, not, certainly not professionally. I have no intention of doing. I will never, ever, ever photograph anybody's wedding. And that's because this would not be able to cope. There is no way my heart would be able to cope with the enormity of it all. There are plenty of great wedding photographers out there. So back to my rant. My rant at myself is... If you use one of these, make sure you back up the content if what's on here is important. First thing, if you have a camera with a dual, a dual, dual card slot, store the footage and the photos on both cards and then make a duplicate either on the cloud 
on a hard drive or in more than one cloud account. I think that's rant over. Please listen to what I'm saying to you. Do as I say, don't do as I've done. Until the next time, my name is Ian Davis. Thanks for watching.